Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the Crank That Frank channel, the only channel on YouTube where you can get family-friendly alternative content. And today, I am joined by a very, very special guest. And that special guest is Ryan Ross. Get started. Oh shit. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm joined with Ryan Ross. You may know him, maybe, maybe not. Hey. Hey. Ryan, I'd like to start this off by handing you this can of cheese whiz. This what I need. Hey, did you guys get any chips? No, but I got cheese whiz. Still got cheese whiz. We could wrap it up. We're good. We got everything we need. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so Ryan. Fans have speculated due to your low-key online presence that you have a severe cheese whiz addiction. Can you confirm or deny? Who told you that? I, I have sources. I can't I can't reveal them. I think we're done. But we're done. What were you thinking when you took this photo? Not sure who that is, but it looked like or, a, they know how to party. Or, or this photo. <laughs> Same, I don't know. I found these online. Not sure if they were tied to you or not. They are now. What do you write first, music or lyrics? What's your writing process like? Sometimes the lyrics are informed by the music and vice versa. I mean, sometimes it'll be like a, a line in my head and then I'm trying to score that. Like a movie in your, in your mind or something. Okay, yeah. like a theme or? Yeah, and then sometimes you might put a couple of good chords together and then you're like, okay, well, what is that? Feel of emotion. What is that? What emotion does that invoke? And then you write yeah. that too. So it yeah. sounds like you start with the lyrics first, usually. Either way. Sometimes I used to always. Always start lyrics first, but yeah, maybe not all the time anymore. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, Ryan Ross. So Ryan Ross, what's the craziest thing that's happened to you on tour? Slash the craziest thing a fan has given you on tour. Besides me giving you cheese whiz. I still think it was on our first tour. Someone baked in hair to cupcakes. One hair into each cupcake. Their hair? We don't know. We, the Mystery hair. Out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mystery hair. It's the worst kind of hair. We all know Did that. you eat the hair? I think Brendan was the one who figured it out. So, oh, they didn't tell uh, you there was no, hair. No. So he bit into it and was like... Guys. Mystery hair. You don't, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta eat around the mystery hair, you know, as they say. Yeah, now I assume you don't take foreign food. I don't. After that it's incident. too bad. How much but cheese was this in food, yeah. is it? Not really. No, <laughs> I don't even think they make it anymore. It was easy cheese. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Ryan Ross. Yeah. What are your plans for the rest of this year and 2020? Can we expect new music? You can. <laughs> you can expect new music. Been working a lot. Um, I have a lot of songs. I'm gonna be playing some on this tour, some new stuff, and started recording with. Z's dad, uh, a little bit, studio at home, 2020 is going to be the year. The year? The comeback? For you and me, Frank. For both of us? Yeah. What does that mean? You'll see. Brian Ross, do you play Fortnite? I, I tried it Two-parter. Would yeah. you consider yourself an epic gamer? Not epic anymore, because I'm not good. I used to be good. At what games? Ocarina of Time, oh, nice. Halo, GoldenEye. How do you feel about Fortnite? Frustrated. Why? It's hard. It is hard, yeah, isn't it? It's hard. Too much building. Yeah, how are you? Awful. Ryan Ross, do you know what TikTok is? No, I don't. You're better off. We can yeah. move on from that. I've seen it, it's not spelled right. It's a disaster. I thought it was a Kesha song. Isn't it? TikTok on the clock. Does she rap in it? It's an app. Oh, okay. A rap location. Ryan Ross, what first inspired you to make music? Well, Crank That, I I think it was just boredom and then escapism. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So w were there like specific bands that you listened to or like what age did you decide I'm going to get into music? Did you ever think I'm going to do this as a career or was it a hobby that turned to something bigger? Definitely didn't think about it as a career. I thought of it as, uh, I mean, to me making it would have been able to, being able to tour in a van and, and leave my hometown. So that was the big goal. I'm about to do that again. <laughs> it still feels fun. After all these years. Nice. 
Yeah. Ryan Ross. What are your favorite songs from these three albums? A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, Pretty Odd, and Take a Vacation. I listened to our first record on the way here for the first time in probably 10 years. I think my favorite song from Fever is I Constantly Thank God for Esteban. I never liked it, but now I do. <laughs> Oh, you never liked it before? I don't know, it's kind of an interesting song. What about you? On that record. My favorite yeah. on that record. Am I allowed to say all of them, or <laughs> oh. should I really just... You're buttering me up, aren't you? Well, Ryan Ross, I'll give you the answer. Lying is the most fun. All right, yeah, ask so about the other two records. Yeah. Um, probably Northern Downpour on Pretty Odd. And uh, Dangerous Blues on the Vance record. What about your, your faves? Are you aware about how much Northern Downpour makes people cry? It does it? It does. I don't know. Is that a good thing? It's a very emotional song. Yeah. If I had to say my favorites from those records, I would say... I would say Northern Downpour. And then I would say... Change. Bit of a rocker. Yeah, I'm more <laughs> on the rock side of things. Okay. Yeah. Ryan Ross, what is your favorite song to perform live? Ooh, I've got one called Live Evil that I've been practicing for this tour, and I think that's gonna be my favorite. Debuting for the first favorite. time? Yeah. It's gonna be my favorite. Mm -hmm. Where can people see you on tour? In mostly the Southwest in about a week. Uh, the first show's in Scottsdale. We can make it all the way to Kansas City, and then back. Hopefully more soon, too. And where can they get tickets? DeadEndKidsTour.com Go there. Do it. DeadEndKidsTour.com Link in description. <laughs> Ryan Ross, how has working with Z been as a duo compared to your past musical projects? She's a lot harder on me than everybody else. Uh, but I think she, she understands my mind more than I do sometimes. So it's, it's good to have it's just been a good Somebody process. Like that around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's great. Or much different than working with, you know, three, four, yeah, sometimes it's harder with more people, you know, too many ideas. Ryan Ross, how passionate are you about Adam Sandler? Oh, I love me some Sandman, I'll tell you what. I've seen him twice live in the past year, I'll put it that way. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you do an impression? No. Can you? <laughs> no, I can't. All right, he, he wouldn't like it. Ryan Ross, what hey. songs do you plan on playing on the upcoming tour? Are you doing deep cuts, fan favorites, all new material? A little bit of everything you said. Yeah, some new stuff, uh, some stuff people know, some covers. Anything you could tell us? I'd rather not. You want to keep it a secret? Yeah, it'll be a secret for one show. That's true. So, give me that. Would okay, you? I'll give you that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ryan Ross, what's a genre of music that you love that you think most people would find surprising? Emo. Surprising. That's the one. <laughs> Shocking. You heard it here first. Ryan Ross, what will the experience be like at the Dead Emo Kids Club, Dead End Kids Club tour? I see what you did there. Um, it's it's gonna be a racket. We're we'll making a lot of noise. There'll be lots of sweaty people. I'm wearing a jacket. It's gonna get hot in there. Love that for you. You plan on adding more dates in the future? Yeah, yeah, if I have my way, yeah. Ryan Ross, would you ever bring this look back? Oh man, that's some of my best work, I gotta say. It really well, is a work of art on your face. I don't know that steady of a hand anymore. How would you describe this look? Bored. I had a lot of time on my hands. Ryan Ross, e-boys or visco girls? I'm gonna get in trouble. Either way, right? No, why would you even be in trouble? You don't know what they are. An e boy is kind of a modern day emo. Okay. And a visco girl is kind of like a modern day uh, Tumblr girl. I don't know, I gotta go with my boys, right? Boys. Gotta go with the e boys. Is that what. Are you an e boy? That's what I'm saying. Um, I would say I'm post emo. Maybe repressed a little bit. Okay. Aren't we all? Yeah, we sure are. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Ross. It's almost Halloween. How do you feel about that? Honestly, I'm thrilled. It's my favorite. I feel like screaming or trick-or-treating. I'm gonna do that trick-or-treat. You're gonna do the trick-or-treat? Yeah. 
I'm doing it right now up here. Corky B roll. I haven't heard that name in years. You're from Jersey, right? I am. It, that's a horrible Jersey accent you just did. <laughs> do a Jersey accent though. What do you think a Jersey accent is? <laughs> Mine's not going to be any better, but you should know better. It's not like New Jersey. No. Is Cor that not? Corky B roll. Bruh. Hey. Corky B roll. Corky B roll. He rolls his sleeves up. He slicks his hair back. Ex oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Guy. I think you're better than I am. <laughs> I think I might be, and I'm not good. <laughs> on July 24th, you posted a photo on Instagram with part of the caption saying, and I quote, Maybe I'll finally kill Z, and you'll get to see me play my whole set swinging around her cold, lifeless body. You just never know. Who will be next in line? What did you mean by this, Ryan Ross? That's pretty clear, isn't it? <laughs> That's pretty clear. Yeah. Who is next in line? <laughs> Ryan Ross, are you still in touch with any of your old bandmates from Panic at the Disco? Not as much as I would like to be. I talked to John earlier this week. It was his birthday. I said, happy birthday, Grandman. He sent me a picture of a cat driving. Wow, a cat driving? One of my favorite John Walker lyrics, it's a new one, is, mm -hmm. This is so sad, Alexa, play Despacito. From like an animal? Seriously? Yeah. That's great. I didn't know that. <laughs> is that right, really is. Is weird? Yeah, oh, it that's is. <laughs> Ryan Ross, is there any chance that we'll get to hear the Cricket and Clover demos? Not really up to me. I think John wanted to post them and was gonna get in trouble for them, so I'm down. You're down. Are, are so any of them John? fully out there? No. Okay. I have them. <laughs> oh, you, you do? Yeah. Oh, it's not on me. Okay, Ryan, last question. Really a question, kind of more like a statement that you would give, I guess. So to the old fans that have been here since you turned in emo, and the new ones that have watched you evolve into a post-emo corpse lover, is there anything you'd like to say to them? Just, thanks for watching. Frank, thanks for having me. Of course, anytime. Keep your head up, or down. It's staying north. Okay, see you on the road. It was Frank. a pleasure, Ryan. Thanks, Frank, the... Frank that crank. Crank, crank that Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan Ross. You could, you could, yeah, you could take this. It's, yeah. We'll see you later. Yeah, uh, have, a, have a good one, man. Yeah, you too. We're still gonna watch the Adam Sandler movie, right? Yeah, on my way. Okay. Yeah! Oh my god. That's fun.